I'll be teaching you my way of coloring skin today. I have never tried to do a tutorial before or make any video with a voiceover, so sorry if the audio might be bad or if I'm not very good at explaining it. But I'll be trying to tell you how I color my skin on my characters. I also apologize since this is my first voiceover, I might be slightly awkward. I also don't have a very good audio microphone setup. I am actually just doing this off of my iPad screen recorder. So again, I apologize. So for this, so you can see that I've already drawn something. I also have colored the hair already. It's not very good because I figured that I wouldn't need it to be, because that's not the main point of this right now. So what you'll want to do is to pick... I normally have my skin tones more on the pink side. Very saturated. Not very saturated, but pretty saturated. And light for this one. So then you'd want a darker, leaning more towards red, saturated color, pinkish, a pinkish peach color for the blush areas and some, some uh, shadows. So I normally put the blush all around the eyes, especially. I also do the ears, but that, you don't have to. I make sure to put it darker anywhere that might have some shadows. So like underneath the nose like that. Or inside of the ear. So then go very lightly over the cheeks over here, more around like the cheekbone area. You can blur out the cheek blush and the nose blush, but not where the shadow is too much. You can blur the ear blush too. Pretty much just blur it up. But don't worry about it being too smooth, you don't need it perfect. After, for the shadows, so what you can tell from the shadows and the blush is different, is that the shadows will be darker and less saturated, but will also be leaning towards the red side. I will put some shadows up near her hairline. I'll be putting some over here under her eyebrows because they cast a shadow. And a little bit right here. Because her nose goes in right there. I can blur some of it up. Again, like I said, don't be too don't blur it up too much because you don't want to look like a mess. Now for the darker shadows, like over on her neck, get more saturated color, the same color, and go in right where it blends from the regular skin tone and the shadow, just to make her skin seem more alive. Now for her lips, it will be a similar color to the blush, but just a little more saturated in red. should be saying smudge blur not like the whole thing but just smudge it a little bit get a more saturated darker version of that color again and you can do that on the top 
top lip and near the line for some shadows. Smudge that out. Now this is almost done, we just need to get some brighter colors, so put this more towards yellow, and right at the max saturation, but very very light. Sometimes you can even have the yellow leaning towards green a little bit, and this is where you can put some highlights, you can put it on her nose a little bit, under her eyes a little bit on our lips too a little bit right here with her eyebrow because it's raised so pretty much you can put highlights anywhere that there's a raised spot like her cheekbone because that's where the light is hitting here, I'll give a short eye, eye color tutorial too. So for the eyes, you can pick, go to like a reddish, a reddish, orange, and pick like a light gray, not super light, but not dark either. And color it in. Then just get a slightly more saturated, darker version of that for the shadow above the eye. Now I'll be giving her green eyes because that's my favorite color eyes. So I'll take this kind of more dull green, dull for me at least. color because when I add the shading and highlights it will be more saturated so it will even out. So for the shadows you'll go into a very saturated blue-ish green color and go right where the pupil on the top of the eye is. screen and make it just lighter and saturated more and do some areas down here at the bottom for the highlights and you can go really saturated and do a highlight at the top and you can go really saturated and do some highlights at the bottom and then also go more yellow and really light and some highlights at the bottom too Now I'll be picking that color we started off with, that green, and go in the middle of where the iris would be. Now let's pick the color opposite of, of green. If you're wondering what the opposite color is of something, if you're in Procreate, you can hit our harmony here and it shows you the opposite color which in this case is purple so pick a very saturated purple if you're doing the same green eyes as me and do now pick a yellowish green color like right there make it very saturated and light you can do a little highlight right there Now you can also, depending on what you like, sometimes 
sometimes I do this, sometimes I don't. Get the eye color, the more saturated green, and put a little highlight in the eyelashes. Or you could even get the highlight color in them and do it, or maybe both like this. I turn the satur I'm gonna turn the opacity down because I don't like how great it is. That is how I color and shade both eyes and skin. Thank you for watching. Again, I apologize for my awkwardness, my first voiceover. Thank you if you're new, and thank you if you've been here commenting or liking or subscribed. It's all appreciated.